Hey guys, back again, and uh, sorry it's been a hot second that I've posted anything about the bus. I've been super busy at work, super busy with other stuff. If you caught any of my other videos, you've seen what I've been up to. But this is an update for the bus. Um, first week of August, by the way. And, see that? See that? The roof is raised. The roof is raised, thanks to him, Tony. And uh, I was not able to get any of the footage of the roof raise because I was like cutting the supports, jacking them up and everything like that. I was, I was so busy and I didn't have an extra set of hands to really help me out because anyone that was over here was working with me. I had a good amount of friends over here and everyone was just like busting their ass. So shout out to you if you're a friend who was over here busting your ass with me. I really appreciate it. And then from there, I get to start on the inside finally, which is like the most exciting part. As some of you guys know, I'm a carpenter by trade. Uh, rough carpentry, finished carpentry, uh, cabinets, stuff like that. That's all stuff I do. And I am so excited to finally get inside and start cranking on that because I am dying to travel. So Tony's the one doing the roof raise, the fabricator. Also the other guy from uh, one of my bigger videos on, on YouTube, which is the one about going to his bus, showing you. So he's been doing all this stuff. I went, I went ahead pounded these uh, supports in for him and then he comes by with this welder that uh, that we got and uh, he's been doing it so which I have another video that I should probably come out with about um, about the welder about how this guy here and the trade trade off that we're doing so that might be another video we'll see anyways Tony how is it it's good it's uh it's getting there Slowly but surely, it's getting there. Uh, we got everything raised up, and I'm almost done welding the supports in. After all the supports are welded in, I just have to kind of reinforce everything to triangulate all of the windows that aren't going to be there anymore. Right. And then once that happens, then we can start working on sheet metal to get like this closed in, and then the front transition done, and put, start putting windows back in, and then sheet metal the sides, and you're pretty much good to go. So that's it from the outside guys, you know, 14 inch roof raise, you stand inside and I can barely just touch the ceiling when I, uh, when I reach all the way up. So definitely a lot more room, a lot more room in there. Shout out to Tony, man. He's awesome. I'm so happy. So happy to have him as a friend. Happy, happy to have him around.